Hey guys, what's up? It's Derek here with OMG. It's Derek.com and today we're gonna review the Liftboard electric skateboard, single motor, 900 watts. At the bike trail here by my house, we're gonna go ahead and jump on it and uh, give this thing a good review. All right, let's roll. All right, so let me tell you guys a little bit of the specs of the uh, lift board. Again, this is the single motor edition. They actually make two separate editions of this board. They make a single 900 watt motor edition, and then they make a dual motor edition, which is 1800 watts. The top speed on it is 16 miles per hour, and it has a 16 mile range. Personally, I've never actually gotten a 16 mile range out of it. Uh, as you know, part of it I'm, I'm assuming is, is due to my weight. I weigh a beefy 210 pounds, all muscle. <laughs> uh, but I think that that actually limits the range that I get on this thing. Uh, I get in between about eight to 10 miles, um, which is actually quite lower than what they advertise. Um, and doing a little bit of research, I found that a lot of other people say that they only get about uh, eight to 10 mile range out of the things too. Um, it has ABEC 5 bearings, which are actually really decent bearings for how cheap the board is. Uh, you can actually get this board on their website. The single motor edition is $499 and the dual motor edition is $599. I actually ended up getting the board for about $199. Uh, Sam's Club, which is a wholesale club here in the United States, sells them for $299, the single motor edition, instead of what they're asking for on their website, which was $499. Um, but they actually put them on sale uh, for 100 bucks off. So I ended up getting this board for $199, um, which is extremely cheap compared to boards like the Boosted boards, which are kind of the most popular electric skateboards that you see different YouTubers and stuff riding around on. The deck on these things are actually a seven ply maple deck, unlike the uh, composite boards that are like on the Boosted boards. The Boosted boards give you a lot more flex and stuff in the deck, whereas this is a lot stiffer. Uh, so that's the one big downside to these boards is that they actually are, are can be quite rough to ride at times if you're not on an extremely smooth surface um, and they can give you a lot of vibration uh, meaning that in your knees in your ankles your legs especially you get a lot of vibrations which can wear you out quite quickly in fact that's the reason I actually am wearing instead of skate shoes like I normally ride uh, use on my one wheel and stuff I'm actually wearing my jogging shoes, my running shoes, specifically for that reason, because they have a lot more cushioning and stuff in them, and they have the foam soles and everything that help with that vibration on this thing. Uh, so skate shoes are, believe it or not, not the best option on this board. Um, you know, but again, for overall, for $199, $299, depending on if you can get it on sale or not at Sam's Club, you know, it's actually a really decent board. The connection between the remote and the board, so far for me, after riding it about a dozen times, has been flawless. I've never had an issue. The only downside is uh, when you let off the acceleration, um, it can sometimes hesitate just a bit, which makes you a little wobbly, but it's nothing serious, never has been anything serious. Um, and the break-in works really well as well, you know, which is just sliding it back. Um, but that's how you operate this thing with the little hand remote has a little uh, slider up and down here And then it has two different modes. It has a beginner mode which uh, pegs you at 12 miles per hour top speed um, I believe maybe 10 miles per hour and then it has an advanced mode uh, Which lets you hit the max of 16 miles per hour All right So let's go ahead and do a little bit more riding and then I'll probably stop one more time and kind of go over the 
the last little bit of the features of this board and then we'll wrap it up. All right, let's roll. So some other features of the board is that uh, it takes two hours to recharge it, which is not bad. Um, you know, something like my one wheel, it takes I think about uh, 30, 35 minutes to completely charge. Uh, however, I don't have the extended range edition of the one wheel. So, you know, it, the extended range could be longer. My one wheel goes about six miles, seven mile range. Whereas again, this is going 16 miles range. Um, so, you know, two hour recharge time doesn't seem that bad to me. The motors are also brushless, um, which if you're unaware what that means, uh, I can't tell you technically, but what I can tell you is uh, like, for example, a lot of power tools nowadays, the newer ones are brushless and you get a lot more torque, a lot better performance, and you don't have to worry about uh, them failing as much as, as old brush motors did. Um, so that's definitely a good thing. Again, this is the single motor edition, but honestly, uh, for myself at 210 pounds, it has plenty enough power. Um, as we were coming down, you know, some of that B-roll footage you just saw, I was maxed out in the speed doing 16 miles per hour. Thing just floats and gets up the speed effortlessly for me. Um, the one difference is if you live in an extremely hilly area, uh, the single motor is rated for 15 uh, degree hill grade, uh, whereas the dual motor can perform at 25 degree uh, incline range, which is a lot better uh, if you live in a hilly, hilly area. Uh, so if you live in a city like San Francisco, the dual motor might be a lot better for you. But I think for most people, the single motor is uh, going to do just fine. You know, last but not least, you know, the biggest thing I think that I want to mention about this board is that, you know, are boosted boards better than this? Is this going to be a boosted board? Hell no. But the new boosted boards, if you're looking at just like the, the classic boosted board, the newest version of that runs $1,399. If you want the best boosted board, the boosted stealth, the newest version, you're looking at $1,599. Again, if you buy this off their website, you're talking for the single motor edition, $499, the dual motor, $599. But again, at Sam's Club, you can get it for $299 on sale like I did for $199. For $199 or even $299, does this board meet or exceed the expectations that I had for it? Absolutely. The board performs great. The connection between the controller and the board is fantastic. You know, I have zero complaints whatsoever at the price point that this thing costs. You know, I'm not expecting it to be a boosted board. Is the boosted board nicer? Absolutely. Is the composite flex board a lot better on you? Especially if you're riding long distances? Absolutely. But for the big price difference, you can invest in a good pair of cushiony shoes and some gel inserts. And to be honest, you'll probably have zero issues with this board in terms of the vibration or anything. Um, I've been out riding it now doing this review for about an hour and I've had absolutely zero issues with the vibration. Sure, you gotta take a break every once in a while, but again, you know, if you put buy some insoles, buy some good shoes that have a lot of cushioning and stuff, I think you'll have zero issues with the board in that area. Other than that, I mean, again, you know, 
I've never personally rode a boosted board. Um, you know, I'm a one wheel person myself. I don't live in the city. I live out here in, in the, you know, little bit more country area. So we have a lot more dirt trails and stuff. So a one wheel just made sense for me. Um, you know, but for 199 bucks, 299 bucks, I think it's a solid board. You know, again, I, you know, I can't base that off of riding a uh, boosted board because I've never owned one. But uh, for the price difference, you know, if you're just looking for something to have some fun on and you're not using it every day as like a commuter in a city, definitely check out this lift board. It's nice. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's the end of this review. And uh, if you guys don't mind, if this review helped you out, give this video a like. It helps out so much. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below. If you want notifications, ring that bell. And uh, yeah, until next time, peace out, everybody.